Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video I wanted to talk about aptitude, more specifically how I use armoring aptitude levels to make a ton of coin. I often get asked when people watch my videos why I'm always grinding my armoring aptitude. The common misconception seems to be that it is a pointless gold sink, and I would be far better off selling the leather I am farming than going through this process. And I have to say I disagree, and I will try to explain why in this video. But first I will share with you my process, how I go about getting these crates and how often I do them. So let's get into it. So the way I run my armoring aptitude grind is roughly on a weekly rotation, mainly because I don't have a ton of time between real life, work, family, and testing other things in the game for videos, so, or I would do it a lot more often than that most likely. But what I do is simple. In the evening while I am relaxing for a couple hours having a coffee or watching whatever series I am watching at the moment, I farm hides, raw hide, thick hide, whichever I need more of that particular day, and I stockpile them. Then of course I place buy orders on the market for tannin and iron hide, because quite frankly in this market today, it is way more cost beneficial to buy iron hide than it is to farm it. This may change in the upcoming patch, but at the moment, I will just continue to buy it. Anyway, so I do this all week a few hours a day and I stockpile. Then by the weekend I usually have roughly 10 to 12k infused leather stockpiled. And here is where me and my community's feelings begin to differ on this. People say I should just sell it, from which I would roughly make 120 to 130k, which isn't bad really for a few days efforts. But then, that's all I get, is some coin, and where's the fun in that? So what I do instead is I take my farm materials and set out to make armoring aptitude crates. And yes, there are some costs associated with doing this. For example, you will need to have some iron bars on hand, as well as some linen but I passively stockpile these consistently as I do any activity in the game that I'm doing. And over the course of a year, I've accumulated a large stockpile, often selling parts of it off, because storage limitations and all that, you know? So, that's not an issue. And of course, the station fees, which aren't so bad, but worth mentioning as it will be a cost. So now you're probably thinking, okay, so all these additional costs, again, why not just sell the leather? Then, all you need to do is sell it and profit. But again, boring, and I feel like I get way more than simply coin doing my aptitude crates. So right off the bat, while I am making my infused gloves, I am generating a ton of standing, which I would want to grind anyway, and getting it this way sure beats making alkahest or useless rations, so that's a huge plus for me. Also, just a quick side note here, I had tested on the PTR making coats as opposed to the infused gloves, because the coats offer more return when salvaging, but the cost difference is just too big, and I always get way less crates per 10,000 leather than I do with gloves, and I did 50k leather worth of 10k batches to test, and always my result was much lower. This is why I continue to stick with my gloves. Anyhow, back to it. So, after I go through my whole session I ended up with these crates, and just to be clear, this weekend I did a double session, because I hadn't had time last week and my storage was bursting. So this is the resulting crates from burning through 19k infused leather, which I have to say I'm feeling so much more relaxed now that it's gone. They really have to give us more storage. Anyhow, that's another topic for another day. I will show my crate openings now, but I have time stamped this, so if you want to skip the openings feel free. But I have included them because some people enjoy watching them. So for my first session, was 25 of each rank. And the second session that same day, was 21 of each rank. Now, I have to say here, this is so much nicer now with batch crafting. The way it used to go, was this would take me an entire day, which is what created the weekly sessions. My whole Saturday in-game would be sitting making gloves. But now, with batch crafting, this took only a few minutes. So that is an amazing change. Just mentioning that, because this was my first time cleaning up my storage and doing these since the patch. And although I knew it had changed, actually doing it and seeing how fast it was in-game blew my mind. So anyway, let's look at my results. Thank <laughs> you. 
So total after opening these, I ended up with one Sage Husk hat pattern, which I won't be selling. I saved these for when they add transmog, but an awesome bonus for sure. And three armoring clothing patterns, which I will of course make whatever piece is selling for highest today. So roughly 9k each as normal, so that's an easy 27k. I also got 306 Asmodium, which I sold for 228 per bar for a total of 69,768 coin. 348 runic leather, which I sold for 133 coin per, for a total of 46,284 coin. 346 phoenix weave, which I sold for 130 coin per, for a total of 44,980 coin. Then the good stuff, the stuff that really makes this really shine. I got a total of 14 shards of consecrated iron, which I sold for 19,350 coin per, for a total of 270,900 coin. 8 squirming vines, which I sold for 25,399 per, and brought me a total of 203,192 coin, 22 writhing vines which luckily were going for 5,500 coin that day, and brought me a total of 121,000 coin, and finally 7 brilliant animus which I sold for 8,327 per, for a total of 58,289 coin. I also of course posted all of the miscellaneous crap I got, but those take time to sell, which will sell but not immediately, so I won't count those for now. This is just the stuff that instantly sell, which sold of course very quickly. So all in, I made 841,430 coin from this session. And after I account for my purchased iron hide, station fees, etc., I made roughly 750,000 coin. Pure profit from this. Not bad, not bad at all. Especially when you consider I also got a ton of brimstone sanding. Almost 15 levels. And of course pushed my armoring aptitude up another 50 levels or so. And we all know bigger numbers in an MMO means you're a better person, right? But in all seriousness, had I have just sold my infused leather... I would have been only able to get 9 coin per. So selling it all, and I will round it up, so I roughly used 17 to 18 thousand this session. I will say 20k for easier numbers. Would be 180 thousand coin profit for all my infused leather. Which again, isn't a small amount of coin, but nowhere close to 750k I made this way. So you see guys, grinding aptitude, although I will admit a bit of a gamble, is an amazing way to make coin. It's exciting opening the crates, it is not nearly as slow and as boring now that they have added batch crafting, and it can make you a ton of coin. I recommend to anyone instead of selling your hides or a cloth or whatever each day, try this out. Grind hides for a week or even two. Then do some armoring aptitude grinding and you will surely be pleasantly surprised with the results. Anyway guys, just wanted to share why I grind my armoring aptitude so much. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.